guys, I was like, can someone just fucking stab me with that sword? Oh my god. The story begins in 2019 when my K-pop friend started spamming the group chat with this Chinese drama called Chun Xin Li. And I was like, well, it looks pretty interesting, so I watched it, and I really liked it. So I recommended it to my friend from Indonesia. And then she really liked it too, so she recommended it to her friend in France. And then my K-pop friend one day, she was like, Hey, Fifi, do you want to buy this Chen Xing flute? Because you played a flute, right? And this is being sold by the team who made the props for the drama. So it's like 100% authentic and identical to the one that's in the drama. And I was like, hmm, interesting. Uh, so she added me to a group chat of this store. And then I didn't end up buying it because I'm poor. Um, but I saw that they were selling like Bichen and Sui Bian swords. So I shared it to my friend in Indonesia, and she's like, Oh my god, help me buy this beach and sword. I will come to China to visit you and also take the sword. So I was like, sure, why not? It's not my money. <laughs> so I helped her buy it. And then she also shared it to her friend in France, and she also wanted to buy it because she was planning on coming to China to study for like, an exchange program and so she can also take the sword home so that's how I ended up with two beach and swords in my dorm because I was still doing my masters at the time lo and behold in 2020 COVID happened hello it's me so my Indonesian friend couldn't end up coming to visit me and her French friend couldn't come to study either so after I graduated from my master's, so I brought my two be my two beach and swords from west third ring of Beijing to the east fifth ring of Beijing, which is like two hours drive. And then one and a half years later, COVID still hadn't ended, but I was moving to the mm, second ring of Beijing. So I took the two swords here again. Half a year later now, COVID still hasn't ended, but I am moving to another city, which is 20 something hours away by car. So I asked my friends like, what if I ship them to you guys? And I guess like they felt bad because I've been, I've been like holding on to their swords for so long. I also felt bad because I think they deserve their swords and these beautiful beach and swords also deserve people who really want them. So <clears throat> thus began my shipping adventure. First I contacted DHL. I was very innocent and I said I'm shipping swords. <laughs> And the next day, I got a call from the DHL guy. He's like, so you're shipping swords? And I was like, yes, but they're not sharpened. And they're just like ornamental props, you know? They're not going to be able to kill anyone. And he's like, no, we can't ship swords. So then I canceled my order. And then I went with Shunfeng SF Express. And this time when I was like inputting what I'm trying to ship, it actually had unsharpened swords as an option. I was like, that is exactly what I'm shipping. So I chose that as the option happily and I submitted the two orders. <clears throat> the next day I got a call from the Shunfeng guy and he's like, you're shipping swords. And I was like, yeah, you have that as an option. So I'm guessing you were able to ship it before, right? And he's like, no, we can't ship swords. And I was like, why did you lie to me? <laughs> um, but anyway, then I asked in, my, in another group chat, like, does anyone know if it's possible to ship swords from China? And someone helped me research online and he found that it's apparently this one sword manufacturer in Hangzhou, another city. And apparently they went through a lot of like discussion and talks with Shunfeng in order for them to be able to ship it. So it's 
only them from that city who can ship the swords with Shunfeng. And then I decided maybe I can try an American company. So I tried FedEx. And this time I was like trying to be slightly clever. And instead of saying I'm shipping swords, I just wrote I'm shipping theatrical props. But then they called me and they were like, so what exactly are you shipping? What are theatrical props? And I was like, you know, just ornamental prop things <laughs> that are kind of heavy and one meter long. Um, and then he said, if it gets returned by customs, you have to pay for the return shipping. So it's like, okay, fine, I'm shipping swords. He's like, Mm, yeah, we can't ship that. And then I was like, why not? Because my French friend called her customs and she can take swords, so how come we can't ship it? And he's like, well, we don't care about other countries. It's just illegal to ship swords out of China. And I was like, but it's, but, 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 and he said, um, doesn't matter if it's made out of plastic or metal, if it's sharpened or unsharpened, as long as it's shaped like a sword, we can't ship it. And I was like, and then I started researching online. I literally googled how do I ship swords out of China and the first result was UPS and it said that swords are not allowed unless they're for decorative or collection purposes. And I was like, yeah, my sword is a decorative collection-ish sword. So I definitely meet the requirements. So I started to input the stuff and it took forever, but finally I got to the part where I could pay. And so I chose WeChat Pay because I'm in China right now and I use WeChat. But then it said, no, I can't. And apparently people without Chinese IDs cannot use WeChat or Alipay to pay a foreign merchant. UPS is a foreign merchant and I am not a Chinese person. So I decided, okay, I'll send the payment link to my Chinese friend and she can help me pay. But she didn't have enough money on her WeChat, so I had to first transfer the money over to her. But And then when I tried to send her the payment link, it didn't work because it said that my payment still hadn't gone through. I haven't finished the payment yet, so I can't restart it. And I was like, Maybe it's a bug. Maybe it's a delay. So I canceled the order and then I waited some more minutes and then I did the whole thing again and it still didn't work. So then I canceled that order and I did it again and I decided to call my mother to use her American credit card. The reason why I can't use my own credit card is because I haven't used my American money in a really long time and every time I try to do something with my account, they, my, the bank thinks that I got hacked and freezes my account. So that has happened way too many times and I don't want to risk it anymore. So I just called my mom to use her credit card and of course she was like, what the fuck are you trying to do? And I was like, I'm trying to help my friends ship some things. So anyway, then if I, the payment finally went through after like an entire morning of trying and after that it popped up, I have to print out my own shipping label. See the other couriers, it's usually the delivery guy comes and he checks the stuff, he prints out the shipping label, I pay, he gives me a box and then he leaves. But this one, I have to print out my own shipping label? And that's the problem, you know, because I'm at home, I don't have a printer, and I can't go to the office to print because my office building is in lockdown due to COVID. So I called their customer service and I was like, hello, um, you know this problem in Beijing right now where everything is closed? I can't print out the, print, uh, the shipping label, what do I do? And she's like, well, you have no other option, you'll just have to figure it out. So then I thought, okay, maybe I can go to a print store. And in order to get into any like public venues right now, you need a 48-hour COVID test. I haven't done a COVID test in a week, but I was like, okay, maybe I can risk it and maybe the 
print stores won't be so strict. So I went out onto the street with my seven day COVID <laughs> test results and I walked down the street and I passed by two print stores and they were all closed. And in disbelief, I went to the door and I saw it was taped onto the door this big sign that said, due to COVID regulations, the store is temporarily closed. Sorry. And I was like, bitch, don't apologize. Please just open up. But yeah, <clears throat> there were some more print stores according to the map, but I decided to not go because I didn't need more disappointments. So I started on my way back home and I passed by a motel. So I went in there and I asked, like, is there anywhere I can print things at nearby? And she said, yeah, there's a print store, like, right there. And I was like, yeah, it's closed. Um, and then I asked, like, do you have a printer I can use? And she said no and made me leave. So I left. And then I went to a dentist. And their receptionist was so nice. Woo! Like, immediately after I told her my problem, she had me add her on WeChat so I can send her the file to print out. But her printer didn't work. And so she was like trying to fix the printer for 10 minutes and I was just standing there awkwardly. Um, and then it finally printed, finally worked. And then I like ran out because I was so embarrassed and awkward. So I finally have the shipping label. And then the next day, the guy calls me. He asked me like, what are you shipping? I was like, well, I'm shipping swords. <laughs> It says on your website that you can ship swords and he's like, well, what's it made out of? And I said metal and there are also blocks of wood in there and he's like, okay. And then he finally drove over here in his van and he asked me again what I'm shipping and I said swords and he's like, we can't ship that. And I was like, I can't blame him because I know that it's like hard to ship swords but now i'm trying to think like what am i going to do with these two things can i just fucking stab myself with beach <laughs> uh.